because I'm really just crouching down. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another cook with me video. Something new for me that I just made for the first time on Sunday and immediately myself and Kevin took a bite and I was like, this is so fire. This is so stinking good. It's called a kitchery cleanse and you don't have to do it as a cleanse it is kind of the purpose that i'm doing it right now it is an ayurvedic practice and ayurveda is the sister science to yoga quick little backstory I what how did you find this recipe it was it specifically for something i was listening to a podcast an interview kind of thing that they just record so then you can listen to it this woman came on her name is sahara rose and she was talking about a kitchery cleanse for fall and how it's just a good reset for your digestion with seasonal change, like you have to change things. Then she was talking about it, so I found the recipe online. Mm -hmm. okay. When you do the kitchery cleanse, it's all that you're eating. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can do it for a single day, or it says that you can do it for up to 21 days. I'm just doing it for the week. Today, right now, as I'm filming this, it's Tuesday, and I've been eating the kitchery since Sunday. And it's super good. It's some really rich flavors. So we have like fennel seed, cumin, coriander. And I think this is a great counterpart for the autumn nourish bowl that I shared with you about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. This is its nice savory sister. Yeah. I think it's also worth mentioning that the kitchery that I'll be making, it is tailored to my doshas. Don't be intimidated by that word. We all have three doshas. So pitta, vata, and kapha. Yes, so I took this quiz online to figure out where I was imbalanced and then you can add certain vegetables that match your dosha. I had taken the quiz and then I had Kevin take it. Even if you're not looking to do a kitchery cleanse, this meal is so fire. It's just so cozy and delicious. The flavors are really wonderful and rich. Yeah, it just sounded super good. So if you want to cook with me and make a kitchery, then just keep watching. Put that in the oil that's melted and I just have to wait until the mustard seeds begin to pop. those little snaps and crackles. Ginger, turmeric, coriander. Dump that in. Four cups of water in total. Quick little shot of aftermath. Couldn't foot 
couldn't fit. Couldn't fit any more in there if I wanted. So now that it's started to boil, I am going to turn it on to a simmer. Way, way low. Even lower than that, yeah. And then give that a mix. This has to cook for another 40 minutes. And that's that. Professional tip so your lid doesn't fly off and stuff doesn't bubble over. You do a little offset. I don't know if that's super obvious for those of you that are in the kitchen often, but you know, if it's not, thank me later so your food doesn't boil everywhere. The reason that I was super drawn to the Kitchery Cleanse is because it's good for resetting your gut. It's good for your digestive health. So when I was doing a little bit of research about it, I was like, yeah, this sounds delicious. It's not like a cleanse where you're not eating. You can literally eat until your heart's <laughs> content. You can go to town, but it's three meals a day if you can. Today, I didn't have it for breakfast just because scheduling and life didn't allow so i didn't eat my first meal today until like 2 30 3 o'clock i was finishing up my first batch and i will eat a second meal of this once that one is done and i know that kevin really liked it too because he said something like yeah this could go in your cafe like a daily kitchery this has been 20 minutes i'm gonna give that a little stir smells quite good too based on my own doshas predominantly i just looked back at the quiz because i was just curious i couldn't remember i know that i'm kapha and then the one that i'm next up is pitta between kapha and pitta that's how i knew which vegetables to add in so that was the butternut squash kale cauliflower and the coconut cream those four ingredients were based on my doshas the test that i took it's through nature's formulary 40 some questions and then you can tailor the kitchery to your own doshas which i think is super cool because it's not just kind of like this uh like what am i trying to say it's tailored to you that's what it is so i love that 40 minutes so almost all the water is gone which is perfect The salt is key because if you remember from the ingredients, there was no salt in there and I'm very much someone that enjoys the salt in their food. So don't skip that. And second time making it, it's just as good as the first time. So I'm confident with this recipe. I really enjoy it. And if you guys make it, I hope that you enjoy it too. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mm, it's really yummy. Oh, and it also does say on the recipe, this can last for four days in the fridge in an airtight container. Wow, you're on a roll. I mean, I believe it because I can't find it. I'm, I'm, I must have used it all and I... Well, then I can stop after work and get you some. So then, wow, there's a lot here. Is this how much you made before? Yeah, coming from the woman who just made a huge pot of soup. Mm -hmm. She's telling me I made a lot. Are you liking it? Yeah, I wouldn't make it again. I don't eat things that I don't like. Yeah, I guess not. Do you? No. Then? No, I can't. I can't. I yeah. simply can't. Mm.